How special has Chris Mueller been in this program? No man ever steps in the same river twice. But he is not the same man, and it is not the same river. It's been a long time waiting, uh, six months. And it's you know, all this anticipation and patience that led to uh, this moment and the fact that the game's only a few days doesn't seem real. So uh, I'm really thrilled for the opportunity. I feel like I used to believe that it was me versus the world in my journey to become a professional and to succeed at the professional level when I really now believe that this inward journey has really been all just about me versus me. We knew he was a special talent, but he needed to grow up in some ways. Where Chris is right now in his career, he just doesn't believe anyone can stop him. It's the hardest when you're in it. I feel like it's easy to remind yourself and practice the good when you're in like a good state of mind but like when you're actually going through the resistance is when it's immensely difficult i know that this is a process and i've said that multiple times that it's just patience with it and continuing to work continuing to believe and we'll see what happens from here so the factors that kind of had an effect on what i wanted to become were trying to gain that credibility that mm. i thought i needed for people to listen to me because ultimately right. i wanted to make i want to make a difference how is that possible if you don't have the credibility that society deems that you need in order to be listened to play for the u.s national team have a big contract be financially stable become an author it all was for external accomplishments and awards that i thought would give me the significance i'm meeting on everybody else's standards and measurements not my own i had an injection into my hamstring when i was in orlando i knew the whole concept i didn't it wasn't three rounds it was just one injection and i let my knee fall out to the right sure that's what causes it Oh, gotcha. Your body is only going to adapt to the stresses that we put on it. Yeah. So we let pain dictate what we can and cannot do. Right. If it's a little bit sore and you feel you need to back off, that's fine. If you feel good, then go for it. You know, I've been in this recovery room every single night, essentially, since my surgery. Doing another session. Just trying to, like, take care of it, get it back strong, stabilize the muscles, get my core yeah. back strong, taking time to reflect. All this time I'm taking to, to do so is going to fuel my confidence because I know I'm going to be prepared. I might have had a little bit of nerves in the first couple of training sessions. Obviously learning so much, you're trying to overthink, you're trying to do your best, you're trying to impress, you know, there's a lot of things that are running really through your head and he kind of just took me inside and told me to calm down a little bit and said, hey, you know, you had a good year, you're here for a reason to call year. Don't don't try and be something else now that you're here and, and try and change a bunch of things, you know, just continue to be yourself and be Chris Mueller. I think the labrum is from the repair that they did is should be pretty close to fully healed. As we go through life, that is the river. Circumstances change, people come and go, the river of life continues to flow, continues to flow, and it's never the same no matter what. It's been 13 and almost a half weeks since, since my operation. And I think it was 12 weeks for the labrum to fully heal. The pains you uh -huh. can continue to feel because the muscles are continuing to adjust. The, the shave down of the femur head, it takes time for all that stuff to adjust. You don't want to expect short-term results, that's really a long-term game.